Ahoy, fellas. Joey's gonna win at your service. I believe yesterday... Oh. Confidence. Do today's heroes truly have any character, or are they just riding on the coattails of a swollen kingdom? Defeat the den of danger without any kingdom preparations. Default potion loadout allowed. Den of danger. Den of danger. Which one is that? Well, I... Th oh, the hero's helm is actually quite nice. <clears throat> I think this is actually a perfect opportunity to show off Assassin here. Assassin is a very unique class. Poison Blade. You start with a poisoning uh, glyph. And every time you damage... Or you gain a bonus attack damage to poisoned enemies. But you start out with a damage penalty. Um, if the area around a monster is fully revealed, you will have first strike, similar to Rogue. And attacking a lower level monster always grants an instant kill. Every time. Which is why we're going to be going Goblin. Because Goblins level up very easily. And as a result, we can more easily abuse, we can get to a high level faster. We can also sell uh, that, and now we can just one-shot any of these guys. Honestly, I didn't need to do that just yet. I probably should have held off. That's that's dumb on my part. But what's done is done. We'll just keep pulling as many enemies as we can. We'll kill this guy. We've got a lot of bandits. So, the biggest thing about... The assassin, right? Is that the assassin is a regen fighter similar to the monk. Because of... the almost reliance upon poison but you're not as tanky as the monk so it's 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 an interesting class and it's not really my favorite. It feels a little too gimmicky for me. Earth Mother isn't bad for farming up piety. So actually we will worship her. Especially since we have all this popcorn here. We're also at a pretty decent level now, so if I can... Ooh, Dracul. Dracul's actually really good. For... Assassin, since we can easily get Blood Curse, and then that's just... More levels to insta-kill enemies. As well, I believe he is a big fan of 
using a feel sick. Which is the name of this rune that we have. Can't really regen fight him, and killing this warlock will be tricky, since we can't un we can't explore all around him. What's down here? I feel like it's just gonna be an exploding signpost. So we'll just really poison this guy, punch him. Heal. We need to be able to survive 24. More poison. Fine sword is pretty fine. We can get the kill here. Yeah, in terms of regen fighting, I think the assassin is better than the monk. Purely because you can, instead of having an increased regen, you just have, you just stop the enemy's regen. And you can actually deal damage. I think I'll grab this fine sword. Since otherwise we don't have any real way to increase base damage, right? And we can go ahead and I'm a wall this bandit. Poison the Gorgon. Nice. There is a major downside to the Assassin, though. A Feel Sick only works on... You know, not undead. Which means I can't poison this zombie. I can't poison this Wraith. Which means I just have a damage penalty against these guys. And if the enemy boss, or if the dungeon boss is undead and level 10, you're fucked. You can't do anything. You have absolutely no advantage against the enemy boss. Which is another really big reason why I don't like the assassin. I need just a little more damage, if there was something. Wish I could see how much damage would be left. I guess I just have to use multiplication, huh? Uh, that would be 19... 20... One tick of damage, okay. Tell you what. I'll do that. Now I can kill this guy. I think it's worth it. Burn Deraz could come in handy. We'll have to just wait and see what the uh, dungeon boss is. And I think I'll go ahead and kill this Wraith. I can also probably convert to Dracul at this point. Uh, 
I could also grab plantation real quick. Um, hmm. Let's wanna fight. Vine form. That would be two, three. Let's do two more and then clearance. Plantation. Clearance again, and now we're good. There, we got a good bit out of that now. Um, should be able to kill this guy. Right? Yep. We'll want to fight... Or, uh, I'm a wall this bandit. And we'll regen up a bit. Bloody Sigil is really good. I'm just gonna buy that outright. Like I said, we... We're already a regen fighter. And while that doesn't help our damage at all, that actually really hurts us. Hey, we have one thing going for us. Should be able to kill this guy as well. Let's go ahead and petrify this goo blob. Yeah, see? And let's go ahead and petrify this Wraith. Now we're at 96. Let's convert to Dracul. I think I want blood hunger first and foremost. Probably blood shield as well. But blood tith will also come in handy. If for nothing else, then for the piety gang. I should also kill this serpent next. Since poison is annoying. There we go. And I'll actually save up for another point of blood hunger, because that'll be really good for just even more piety gang. Let's I'm a wall this Wraith. Since Dracul's fine with us turning the undead to the stone. Poison. Lovely. I'm gonna wall this goo blob. Can I? No, it doesn't look like it. Unless I could get behind Hmm. I think I can kill this guy. Yep, here we go. Very nice. Didn't even need to regen at all. Now, all of our popcorn has been turned to stone. I think we can get rid of I Am A Wall. We'll hold off just a little bit since we... I mean, we gain nothing. We're pretty much set. Yeah. Because I can one-shot this guy or this guy. He's going to be difficult. But I wouldn't really be able to get much from I'm a walling him either. Potion. Oh, look. Well, that, that, oh, well. Whatever. Spoon, of course. More base damage is always good. Blood to power. I think we can convert this. I didn't, I didn't need to convert that then and there. Um, Oops. We'll poison this guy twice. Two. Regen a bit. Three. 
Regen a bit. A little bit more. Win. Hmm. Now this is starting to get tricky. I want to be level 9 at least to kill these guys. Since otherwise it'll just be a pain in the dick. Blood hunger. Where's the boss anyway? I'd like to know what I'm facing. Just take our time with this meat man here. Why does it... 20... What's, what's going on here? Oh, it's because I can't... Okay. It's because I can't heal because he would strike first and then kill me. Let's go ahead and kill this guy. Or, actually, let's kill this Gorgon. Lower level. We are now level 8. We can just execute this Wraith, which I think I will do. Here we go. And it's an undead, that's annoying. A physical resistance undead, which is even more annoying. With mana burn, which is even more annoying. Hmm. Hmm. Might need to take consensus. Yeah, probably. Kill this goo blob and this bandit. And we are going to pick up Burn there as. And this is the annoying part, right? I guess I have mana potions, so I can. And I have the health, so I should. Two. I use this. And now we just try to magically regen fight. We're chipping away pretty well. This only heals, right? Yeah. Let's go ahead and buy a mana potion. Burn. Two. Three. Burn. Hmm. 
Hmm. Blood Tith. For a good bit of healing. We convert. How much damage does he do? We need to drink two potions and we need to be able to... I think we can. What do you mean? As you land the killing blow, a creature teleports nearby. Your ears buzz and your eyes find it difficult to focus. There's a powerful glamour at work here. Oh, this is H, who's been trying to put our kingdom out of business. Cool. I'm gonna convert this level up. Do this. Kill this guy. This guy. This guy. Yeah, pretty good. Assassin is weird. Not my favorite class. Hi, H. Hello, adventurer. Here's a question for you. How do you defeat a behemoth clad in iron? Carefully. Your weapons cannot pierce it, your spells cannot burn it, and your words cannot move it. The answer. Push it into the water and watch it drown, weighed down by its own size and armor. I've warned your kingdom before. I may not control an army strong enough to topple you, but I can play very dirty. Cheerio. You know, fair enough. Strategy is great. I wish there was anything that could have helped us, you know, destroy the, a wall to get in here. But, you know, say la vie. Boop. That's fine. There we go. Would have been nice to have been able to bet on the boss, but that's okay. A nice showcase of the assassin and a... Uh, I would say a rather enjoyable quick run. Yeah. Feeling pretty good with all the base game classes unlocked. And the Smuggler Den. This is going to be really good. Um, yeah, we're in a pretty good spot. But these... These are difficult missions. So... We might see a lot more failures than before. Just to warn you now. But I hope you'll stick with me throughout those failures. Because eventually I will learn... I will improve, and we will get through it. So, with that being said, I hope you had a good time. I hope to see you here again, and I hope you have a good night.